Good morning to all of you. I am Surya Chandan Sahu, PTGF in Electrical Department, Bose Kotak. So, previous class we have discussed about LT line installation. So, LT line installation is for around 440 volt to 11 kV, but above 11 kV the installation is known as HT installation. So, we will discuss HT installation by solving a problem. Suppose the problem is like this, an overhead 11 kV 50 Hz line has to be erected using 27 kg 10 meter long. That means, the steel pole has a length of 10 meter long and a CSR conductor hub, the specification is given 6 by 1 into 2.59 mm with an average span of 150 meter. Already I have discussed in the previous class, span is the between two conjugative poles. So, here the average span is 150 meter. So, we have to make a list of material required for the estimation of the HT line installation and its cost. So, given the length of the 11 kV line is 1 kilometer, average span is 150 meter and the number of span will be 1000 by 150. Already I have discussed in the previous class, the span is span is equals to 1000 divided number of span, this is your number of span is equals to 1000 divided by 1 span, it is around coming 7, say it is coming 7, therefore number of 27 kg 10 meter long poles required is number of poles required poles required is equals to number of span plus 1. So, number of span is 7 plus 1 that is equals to 8. So, here number of span is 8, number of number of long rail poles required is 8. Next, next we have to find out the next important material that is length of 6 by 1 into 2.59 mm SCSR conductor required is 3 times the length of the line plus 2 percent sag. So, 3 times because for, for R, Y, B 3 phases that is 3 into 1000 the total length of the line is 1000 and 2 percent SIAG plus 2 percent SIAG means 102 by 100 into 102 by 100, it will come 3060 meter. Next, length of the GI wear as earth wear, earth wear specification is 8 SWG. What is SWG? Standard, standard OER gauge. So, this 8WG, 8SWG is the standard of earth, it is the standard of earth OER. Then length of earth wear will be total length is 1000. So, 1000. 
So, 1000 into 102 by 100 that is 2 percent shag, it will come 1020 meters is required the earth wear. Next we will move to the material list. So, rail pole already we have discussed 8 numbers of rail poles are required, 8 numbers of rail poles and 6 by 1 into 2.59 mm that means 6 by 1 means central conductor and around this we will have 6 conductors 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 conductors this is your 6 by 1. 6 by 1 SCSR conductor and 2.5 mm each diameter is 2.59 mm each diameter each has 2.59 mm diameter. So, this is the standard of SCSR conductor and it is required 3060 meters and the cost varies from company to company and some time to time the for the timing it is given 65 rupees per meter and we are requiring total for 3060 meters it is around 20 2 lakh 1600 rupees. Next, this is the what the different types of rail poles required that is from one cross arm to another cross arm the minimum distance is 1.5 meter and from the bottom cross arm to the ground floor is 7.5 meter around. For L type cross arm for, for T cross arm it is between two conjugative cross arms it is 0 0.8 meter and total height around 10 meter. Next GI earth wear already we have discussed that is 8 SWG earth wear 1020 meters is required then cross arm required is total 6 numbers of cross arms are required and each has a cost of 1500 so total 9000 approximately next t could cross arm of 100 mm 100 mm 2.2 long that is Suppose this is the this is the cross arm. This cross cross arm has 2.2 mm long. That means from this point to this point, this is 2.2 meter long, and its diameter is 100 mm into 100 mm. 100 mm into 100 mm it is required for H pole structure that is double pole structure it is required for double pole structure. So, for two double pole that is one dead end and another is the tapping point. So, its specification is 2.2 mm long and diameter is or the thickness is 100 mm into 100 mm, 100 mm into 100 mm. So, next is this is the one cross arm wood T code cross arm, one example of T code cross arm and it is different types of 
arrangements of cross arm typical single pole design of distribution system for single arm line arm and side arm so next this is another structure this is the example of double pole structure this is the example of dp structure that is double pole example of double pole double pole structure dp stands for double pole structure next top insulator brackets h pole structure is six quantities earth wire clamps seven seven earth wire clamps required these are the examples of earth earth arms next earth wire clamps next this is the example of dix insulator which is used in double pole structure or in the dead end this is different types of earth clamps to fix the earth wire next this is the cross bracing required for h pole structure and 11 kv pin insulator required for the poles for one pole suppose required is for one pole number of cross arms required is for one pole the number of pin insulator for one pole number of pin insulators required is is equals to one pole number of pin insulators required is 3 so for seven number of poles seven number of poles so number of pin insulator required is 3 into 7 that is equal to 21 numbers of pin insulators required 21 numbers of pin insulators required next this is an example of cross bracing h pole structure this is different types of disc insulator next dig insulators required six numbers for two dead ends for dead end for for dead end is equals to three numbers and for tapping pole is equals to three numbers so total is six numbers next 14 hwg copper wire binding that means to fix the different earth wire conductor some copper binding wire required so that is suppose approximately 2.5 kg this is the internal structure of 11 kv dix insulator this is the crux connected to cross arm this is the insulator and this is the socket or thimble to support the earth wire then helical form dead end this is the helical form dead end next 14 hwg copper wire is used to fix the conductor insulators in the pole 
next stay sets that is suppose each pole in HT line requires stay sets. So, total 7 number of poles, so it will require 7 sets of stay sets. Next earthing set, 4 set completes required for 2 dead ends and 1 for intermediate and 2 intermediate poles total 4 numbers of earthing sets are required. This is the stay set arrangement that is gay insulator, this is gay insulator, this is gay insulator which separates from top to bottom, this is the stay wire and this is the stay bore to support the stay wire at the ground level. This is the stay rod and anchor plate inside the ground and this is the pole clamp and this is the pole. So, next this is the transmission tower earthing. So, this is how the transmission tower is, uh, this is one example of pipe earthing. This is one example of pipe earthing, pipe earthing. This is example of pipe earthing. Next. 11 kV lightning arresters are also required at the dead ends and danger plates 11 kV written 11 kV danger plates 7 numbers for each pole is required. So, this is the lightning arrestor structure these lightning arrestors are placed at the top. This is the lightning arrestor, 11 kV or it is also called surge arrestor, it is because it suppresses the voltage surge due to lightning. Next, this is the 11 kV danger plate written background white and written in red. Next, barbed wire 20 kg around require not to enter the unauthorized portion into the H-pole structure. Then pole foundation mops 8 numbers for each poles is required. This is the example of barbed wire. This is the pole foundation, this is the arrangement of pole foundation. Next, knee bracing sets, 6 numbers for each intermediate structure and guards for supporting the H pole structure, 6 numbers required. This is the example of knee bracings sets, knee bracings for intermediate poles and this is the GSL number 4, the specification is GSL, GSL number 4 used as guards to support the GUA RTS guards to support the structure, to support the HT, HT pole. Next, CI rails to support continuous earth, that means for earth continuity, 
C i reels are required and for each pole we require one C i reels. So, 8 number of poles we require 8 C i reels. Next M s channel iron angle that is 2 numbers is required. This is the this is the reel insulator or CI reel to support the earth wire and this is the guarding that is guard system to support the CI reel earth wire. This is an arrangement next. This is the MS channel, different structures of ML channel, flat bar, angle, round, different types that is flat bar, angle, round, this is round structure, hexagon, sheet plate, channel, wide flange beam, standard I beam, square rectangular tube, pipe round, T, T bar, half round, half oval, chamfer bar and rebar. These are the, these are the different types of MS channel required to support the H pole structure. Next, Next, sundries to complete the job such as bolts, knots, washers, thimbles, painting of iron parts, soldering, etc. Lump sum, around approximately lump sum required. Next, transportation charges, suppose 5 percent of the total cost, labor charges 10 percent of total cost, contingencies 1 percent inspection fees so total grant total suppose coming 444000 so this is all about the 